On the news, Cross River State Governor Basio II approves the Solution of Infrastructure Tax Force Committee. Plus, state government holds environmental sanitation for November and forces sanitation compliance ahead of Carnival Calabar as members of Basti Akaba Foundation join to make environment clean. Details shortly. Thanks for joining us on the news. I am Uduak Etam. The Cross River State Governor Basio II has approved the immediate dissolution of the Infrastructure Tax Force Committee. A statement by the Chief Press Secretary to the Governor, Sir Gill, indicates that the rightful body to manage the collection of the road infrastructure maintenance levy, among other assigned duties, as stated by the State Planning Commission, is the Cross River State Infrastructure Development Agency. According to the statement, the dissolution takes immediate effect. Towards enhancing the living conditions of residents and promote public health, the Cross River State Government is reinforcing its commitment to environmental sanitation ahead of the highly anticipated Carnival Calabar 2024. The enforcement is aimed at ensuring sanitation standards are upheld before, during and after the festive season as part of the state's ongoing Clean and Green Initiative. Oba Hyacinth reports. During a briefing after the last monthly sanitation exercise, Commissioner for Environment Moses Osogi emphasized government resolve providing a healthy living environment consolidating on those words with the upcoming influx of tourists during the Carnival Calabar and the Yuletide season. Commissioner Osogi addresses the media on the compliance level and outlines strategies to manage the anticipated surge of visitors. Anyway, I'm not surprised because we believe that Cross River State is going to be a new state in terms of cleanliness and uh, you know uh, the serenity of the environment and that's what we have seen today the level of compliance i have seen today is something encouraging and i really appreciate the the attitude of crossivera in the light of the foregoing in december the commissioner announced that instead of the usual monthly sanitation exercise there will be series of weekly market-based sanitation activities throughout december this, according to him, is a proactive approach to ensure that the Yuletide period remains free from environmental health challenges. From his concern, from 1st to 31st is Carnival. And what we are meant to do as a ministry is to make sure that the environment is kept clean so that visitors who are coming from far and near will understand that Calabar, Cross River State, is one of the cleanest states in the country. This month is the last uh, sanitation for the year. From uh, the next Saturday, we'll be doing market space sanitation every Saturday. Uh, I can hit my chest and say the government has tried. NDDC as well too has tried. We're having a whole lot of problems across the state as regards uh, receptacle being. And today, so many places are appreciating our wife for brain dust bin, brain this and that. We are going to give them, but it's a gradual problem because you cannot just produce dust bin and share it to everybody in one day. President also respond positively to government's initiative, commending the focus on sanitation and environmental health. They feel fine with their body. So it is good to keep the interior of the state and the environment. It's a good thing because they are trying to keep cross river clean. Um, because early last year, some people don't obey this, uh, the voice of the government, even when this thing started. So uh, it was until they started coming like this. If they come like this, some people will run, some will stay. As the carnival draws near, the Cross River State government's commitment 
to a clean and safe environment continue to be a priority, resonating with both residents and visitors alike. In Calabar, Upper High Saint, NTA News. A break now. The news continues shortly. Feliz Navidad, prospero año y felicidad. The Nigerian Television Authority Calabar presents Children Christmas Extravaganza. Date Friday, 6 December 2024. Venue NTA Calabar Entertainment Ground. Time 10 a.m. prompt. Special features Live DJ, Santa Claus, Mascots, Bouncing Castles, Comedy, Dances, Gift Items, and lots more. Tickets 2000 Naira only. Come and have fun. NTA Calabar, the station for the people. With pains in our heart, but with deep sense of gratitude to God, the family of late Elder Chief Charles Isan Atli of Bhutu, local government area of Delta State, announced the home calling of our beloved husband, father, grandfather and father-in-law, Elder Chief Charles Isan Atli, who passed on to internal police on the 12th of September 2024. He was aged 75. Funeral arrangement. Wednesday, 27 November 2024, opening of Morning House at the deceased compound in Ifondo, Akwabi, local government area, Cross River State. Friday, 29 November 2024, service of sons and friends night at Ifondo, Akwabi, local government area, Cross River State. Saturday, 30 November 2024, border leaves Cross River State to his hometown in Tormo Town, road to local government area, Delta State. Friday, 6 December 2024, service of sons in Tormo Town, Delta State. Saturday, 7 December 2024, funeral service and interment in Tormo Town, road to local government area, Delta State. May his gentle soul rest in perfect peace. Amen. Sign. Prince Elvis Charles and son at me for the family. Welcome back and thanks for being there. And now to the rest of our bulletin. A clean environment is essential for healthy living and collective progress. Guided by this principle, members of the Basi Akaba Foundation actively participated in the Cross River State Government Monthly Environmental Sanitation Exercise. Miracle Edor reports that the team went around Calabar Metropolis to clean up the environment. The report. In observance of the Cross River State Government Monthly Environmental Sanitation Exercise, members of the Basi Akaba Foundation went around Calabar Metropolis and eight miles, cutting grasses, sweeping streets, and clearing of dung to designated sites. Team members of the foundation view the monthly environmental sanitation exercise as a way to keep Cross River State clean and maintain its status as one of the cleanest states in the country. Ono is one person who believes in having a you know a clean atmosphere and also we need to also complement what the governor is doing so to help you know put our state in the in the right path. Akbar has also seen that there is need for him to you know to follow suit what the governor is doing because if uh, Akwa had to bring out his cooperative members that means he's committed to the project of the what we are seeing here you know is what has not happened before having to see people come out under the umbrella of you know honorable basia kabas foundation to support the drive of the governor is something that should be applaudable by anybody see as you can see, we are out here for the sanitation exercise and uh, it has been going on very smoothly because it has been uh, our culture that the MP himself have told us to always come out to be part and the parcel of what the government is doing in order to making sure we clean our environment. The Basi Akaba Foundation is determined and committed in making the environment a clean and a safe space in support of the state government initiative. In Calabar, Miracle Edo, NTA News.
That is part of our news. Thanks for watching. I am Uduak Etam.